Hi Scorpio, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general love reading for April 2022. This is for any Scorpio looking for any guidance and messages in love in their daily lives. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, there'll be other readings coming up soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit notifications. So Scorpio, we're going to start off your reading today with one card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel Love Oracle deck. Then we're going to draw nine cards from the Rider Waite deck for past, present, and future energies, plus one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. So, Scorpio, let's begin with your reading. I'm going to shuffle a little bit today for you. What do we need to know for Scorpio for the month of April 2022? Scorpio, what do we need to know for Scorpio? All right, we're going to cut the deck and let's begin. So, your card for the month will be unrequited love Scorpio there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay there you are so for those of you who this resonates with this is for a very select few of you Scorpios but this is about someone that you love or care about that doesn't have the same feelings for you uh, they may not share the same um, goals as you for a relationship or they just have someone else in mind okay so let's figure out more information about what is going on here for you scorpio i'm going to shuffle the rider weight deck for you so you know there's no shady business going on but let's tackle this subject here right now is there someone here in your life that you're possibly wanting to have a relationship with but they're not reciprocating Maybe you think that they uh, will come around for you at some point, but perhaps the message here about them not having the chemistry with you could signal a time to move on. Um, or you may have to let this person go if they are still uh, around, but not giving you exactly what you need, okay? So Scorpio, I'm going to Shuffle a little bit more for you here and see what's coming up. Universe, please give me a message for Scorpio for April 2022. Let's cut the deck and we'll begin. So we're going to start off with your past energy, Scorpio. Your first card will be... We have the Sun card in reverse. Your next card we have the seven of wands in reverse and lastly we have the seven of swords okay so keep in mind this is your past energy scorpio what does this all mean for you well in the past things were probably better with this individual uh, with the sun card in reverse here there could have been good times that you've shared together okay uh, and maybe someone came towards the other person. Maybe you uh, told them how you felt or uh, something happened and whatever this relationship was with this individual uh, suddenly came to a halt for some of you. Uh, for a lot of you, there could have been a third party here. Or they may have not seen that you weren't the one for them, okay? This could have either been told to you or you may have felt that, but things maybe uh, didn't work out the way that you wanted to with this individual, okay? But a lot of you still love and care for this person, which is why the sun is here, and you thought that this person could have been your one, but in some ways uh, they don't reciprocate that the way that you wanted to. So with it in reverse, the happy ending here it pretty much isn't defined yet um, but at the same time they either don't see you in this relationship with them or a future with them and vice versa okay the seven of wands here in reverse for you for a lot of you scorpios this is uh, uh comes up when there's a lot of challenges here for you okay and usually when it is in the upright position the seven of wands can say that you're going to overcome these challenges and this is something that's worth fighting for and you're going to stand your ground. But 
with it in reverse, the energy suddenly becomes you struggling with uh, these obstacles or challenges and finding that it's no longer worth your energy. You may be putting effort into something that isn't going to come out in uh, your favor. There's a lot of wasted time here with the seven uh, of wands in reverse here. It is almost a losing battle for a lot of you. So whatever it is you're trying to accomplish with this individual or with a person, uh, you feel like you're losing the situation, you're struggling, and you almost don't know what to do. So there is almost a little bit of confusion here, a uh, little bit of disarray. Uh, you are finding that you're giving up hope, okay? And that it's not worth fighting for anymore, even though you have put in energy into this person or situation in the past, okay? So keeping that all in mind, uh, with the Seven of Swords, it almost says that this other individual that you were dealing with, they may have gotten away with something. They may have cheated on you. They may have had a third party that they were talking to even, so it doesn't have to be physical cheating, it could be mental cheating here. But they have other intentions. They could be keeping you around because they enjoy your company, but at the same time, they don't have the same goals as you do with a relationship with them. So this sneaky kind of deception energy either pulls you in and you are even, some of you are aware, Scorpio, of the situation. Others of you aren't. But you need to know that the reason things aren't working and that you're putting in a lot of effort into trying to make this person happy or with this relationship to move forward, uh, they already have other intentions, okay? So they may want to leave. They may want to keep you around. Uh, just so they have someone to keep them company, okay? So keep that in mind with what's going on for you, Scorpio. We're going to take a look at now your present energy and see what's coming up for you right now. The first card is the Fool. Okay, your next card will be the Hierophant in reverse. And lastly... We have the Empress in reverse. Wow, three major arcana here for you in your present energy. Keep in mind, this is about unrequited love here. So, Scorpio, a lot of you have been trying to change and start a new uh, cycle for yourself. With the Fool here, you may be now looking for love in other places. You may have ended things with this person. You may have started a new bond. Some of you may have tried to reconcile with this individual. And maybe you've decided to be friends. And maybe things are starting to change between the two of you. Okay? Now, the fool doesn't really know what's going to happen to them in the near future. But they're optimistic and excited about something. So... You could either have resolved something with this individual and decided, okay, well, things aren't going to work out. Maybe we'll be friends. But for a lot of you also, you may have decided to completely leave this person in the present energy and uh, gone out to seek love uh, somewhere else. Okay? Either way, it is a new beginning that's happening for you right now and that you're experiencing. Okay? And there's a lot of hope still involved here. With the Hierophant in reverse that we have for you in your present energy, you could be dealing with a, a Taurus for some of you Scorpios. If not, the energy definitely here is um, to avoid doing things the traditional way here. So uh, if you are going to either approach someone or you want to uh, reconcile with an individual here, there may be... Uh, a unique way of approaching the situation now so yes some of you can remain friends 
Some of you may decide to just keep each other uh, nearby. And this either may or may not work for you. You're experimenting with it, okay? But it certainly isn't something that you're normally used to or that you normally would accept in the situation. But for a lot of you Scorpios, this is something that you uh, are open-minded about in the situation. And you are trying to figure out if this will work for you. Okay, you're also uh, trying to grow as a person here with the Fool card here accompanied with the Hair Fit in Reverse. You are trying out something new, something different, and your approach will be completely uh, uh, non-traditional from the way that you normally are used to. Okay, uh, this card, uh, the Hair Fit, also could come up when there is someone in uh, a circle of friends here who uh, could have their eye on you, but that's for a select few of you too, okay? So now we have the Empress in reverse. So here the Empress can uh, basically signify that uh, you're not feeling abundant in your current situation. You don't feel love the way that you want to be loved. You feel that you're lacking in terms of uh, what you want out of relationship. Even though you're striving to do new things and to approach things differently, there's a part of you that feels that you're never going to be successful in finding your perfect love. You want marriage, you want a relationship, you want all of that, okay? You want to be loved. And the Empress comes up when someone either feels insecure uh, they may feel that, or you may feel that you're not good enough, okay? And that's something that may resonate off of you, okay? A lot of you may have been traumatized by this person that you're dealing with. But the truth is, you're starting on a new uh, beginning here with the fool. So all those feelings of insecurity and lack and uh, emotional issues when dealing with a relationship or your self-image and how you feel about yourself because of this individual, these are things that will eventually subside, but they definitely will stick around for you for now because what's happened to you recently is pretty fresh, okay? And if this person is deceiving you in some way or not being honest with how they truly feel, okay, and kind of keeping you around in their energy, well, it's not helping your self-confidence here with the Empress in reverse, okay? So keep that in mind here. Let's take a look now at your future energy for you, Scorpio, and see what's coming up for you next, okay? So your first card out will be the King of Cups. Your second card will be the Queen of Swords. And lastly, we have the Four of Cups. So Scorpio, let's work it out for you right now, okay? You are still very emotionally tied to this individual here with uh, the King of Cups energy. So there could be a water sign, of course, here. And uh, with the Queen of Swords, there can be an air sign involved. But I do see this more as your energy uh, coming into your future here. This, uh, sorry, there's a police siren, so let's just let that pass for a second. They get pretty loud down the street here. Sorry, Scorpio. Okay. Uh, the King of Cups basically will be represented by your energy and your feelings toward this person. You still love this person very much, and there's a lot of feelings that are still involved here. It's almost hard for you to let go in some ways, okay? Some of you had a really great emotional bond with this individual, even though they don't have the same feelings back for you, okay? And in some ways, this person could realize that you do mean uh, something to them, but they almost don't want to give in to you because they have some other person in sight that's around, okay? And emotionally for you, even though you feel content with this person, at some point, you're gonna have to withdraw, okay? 
And here comes the Queen of Swords energy. So it's almost like you're going to be taking back your power at some point. And you're going to refuse certain things. So if this person is using you for your time and your energy and knowing that they'll never give you what you want, you have to start, start making the calls here with the Queen of Swords energy and cutting this person off in some ways, communicating exactly what needs to uh, the boundaries between you and this person because you don't want to be hurt anymore. And from a logical side, you need to take this more than the King of Cups because emotionally and logically, both things point towards not being with this person anymore because they're not reciprocating the way that you want them to. And so you're going to be much stronger coming down uh, later in April. And you're going to see for yourself what your the path is if you continue not setting these boundaries with this individual. Okay? But here we have the Four of Cups. So you'll either find yourself cutting yourself off from this individual completely because you're too hurt still and you don't really want to entertain anybody new currently at the moment. So you may be taking a break. You may be cutting off communication with this individual. You may be wanting to have a time off even if you were friends or even if you settled things there needs to be almost a little bit of a break here or cut off in communication for some of you, okay? And there is almost a little bit of a stubborn energy here about not seeing the truth. Some of you may be still in love with this individual and not seeing that they're either using you or taking advantage of you and your energy and your time. But if there's clear communication here, and if you've communicated here logically with the Queen of Swords what you want out of a relationship and you put your heart out here with your, the King of Cups energy, you're going to find yourself now in a position where they have to make a decision or you have to make a decision to completely leave, okay? Keep in mind, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That could work both ways at this point for you because... Why would you want to stay in a relationship where the person doesn't want to even be with you? Have that respect for yourself, Scorpio, okay? Let's take a look at the bottom of the deck to see what advice we have for you for the uh, month. So we have the chariot in reverse for you, Scorpio. Well, what does that mean? Well, the chariot always speaks about moving forward towards something and uh, achieving your goals and success and even happiness and love. And with the chariot in reverse, uh, it's about taking a step back. It's about holding off on moving forward, okay? Uh, some of you may be losing control over a situation. And sometimes with the chariot, uh, it's about taking the reins and taking control and finding an end point and goal here. But for you, you almost seem confused about what you want now at this point, okay? And with the chariot in reverse, uh, instead of moving forward towards something that isn't going to benefit you, it's now maybe time for you to take an alternate path and to redirect yourself into a new uh, a love or a new situation for you to get love, okay? And it does suck for a lot of you Scorpios here that this person doesn't appreciate and love you the way you, you love them. And maybe things will change over time, but you still have to work on yourself first, okay? So... It's time to take a step back, figure out a different path for yourself, maybe work on yourself for a while, and then try to reestablish a new relationship in the future and move on from there, okay? So, Scorpio, I hope this reading resonated with you. Remember, if this doesn't, there'll be other readings coming up for you guys soon. Thanks for joining me here tonight, guys. I really appreciate it, and bye for now.